What's going on guys, The Inhuman Beatdown. I'm back with more Fate Extra Triple C. Last time we started our depths into, what is this, uh, the 10th floor? Are we on the 10th? Shit. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, the 10th floor, uh, looking for Jenico and Gauto. And along the way we've come across signs that have all been lying to us about different things. Uh, enemies, flooring, just all different kinds of things. And frankly, it's growing a bit tiresome. Ow. Now, look here, you bee son of a bitch. Pissing me off. Do not piss off the king of heroes. Alright, this one's a big guy. Because I remember how this is set, so let's see. I'm gonna take a gamble on my life here. Nope, wrong! Very wrong! At least I'll still get this stun. At least I got that right. Oh, crap. <laughs> Uh, red, heal him here and just see how this goes. Oh, fuck. God, he's guarding a lot this pattern. Shit. I still killed him, so whatever. And the third one, because I wish to kill them all. And you I'm not holding back on. So, fuck you. Oh, that's right. Gilgamesh gets stronger the more money I have. I forgot I have that. <laughs> so, every time I've been killing someone, I've theoretically been getting stronger. Alright, I also have a translation for this one. The great Jinniko is being manipulated, so she's not at fault. So, please just leave me alone already. Oh, that was the second part. There we go. Whatever. Speaking of which, Jenico. Hi. Let's say hello, shall we? I just want to take a moment and say hello. What does this heal? Like, that also heals me, but very little. Okay, those are right. I'm looking at the wrong kanji. Okay. I was trying to figure out, like, which one was which, but I was staring at the wrong part trying to figure it out. Anyways. She started freaking the fuck out and said my name. Literally, it's just a bunch of A's and W's. I don't really think I need to translate that one. Jinniko is panicking. I was prepared for her to transfer or run away, but it looks like she can't do that this time. Which means that this is definitely the end of this long, depressing floor. <laughs> you, you've got the wrong person. It's a mistake. The truth is, I'm actually Jenniko's twin sister. Jenniko. That's, uh, her name is usually spelled J-I-N-A-K-O. She's spelling it J-I-N. E K O. See? Thanks for taking care of my sister. I think some kind of horrific trickery started when we encountered her. <laughs> You're making one mistake, Janico, or whatever you call yourself. I can't recall when either this mongrel or I have ever cared for Janico. I kinda did. It's kinda why we're here. You really don't believe me, do you? No helping it. Really, they're making me do all this. It's really annoying for me, too. Oh god, I, I lost where I was. There we go. That's right, the great Jinniko is being manipulated by the invisible hand of God. Baby, I'm just being used. I. It's true I made the signs, but, you know, 
I never expected them to get in Vala's way. It was just a little slip up. I didn't mean anything bad by it at all. My head is starting to hurt. But if we can finish this without fighting, that would be the best I could hope for. So you get it, Vala? Man, talk about barking up the wrong tree. So you can just put away the dangerous servant. I understand. Then... Just hand me your SG and I'll go. It just says just hand me your SG, but I added the last part. Yeah. I can't! That means defeat, self-destruction. If I give up, it's game over for me. This means the most popular of Jinnikos, the great, comparatively sociable Jinniko, you know, you see? Which means that the Jinnikos that are hidden back there are... are... there... are... that are hidden back there are all embarrassments. I need to keep them at bay. And anyway, the great Jinniko has no idea about any SGs or whatever. What even is that? Does it hurt? I can't give you something I don't know about. Isn't that selfish to say though? Jinniko backs away in fear. And at the same time, her lancer takes form. The atmosphere that had a hold over this place is completely transformed. Gilgamesh's demeanor changes somewhat in response. His foot moves a half step forward, and some small strength is put into his casually limp fingers. That's... It's probably just my imagination, but he moved as if to protect me. His master... Karna, I didn't ask you to come out. And those words, too, are estranged from your true feelings, my mistress. And these two have challenged your labyrinth and seek compensation for the time they have spent and the dangers they have braved. They have no reason to leave simply because you have told them to. Vala Izanagi, I'm sorry. I apologize for this negligence and abruptness in my fecal... fecalist mistress's place. Damn, Karna's got an ass. Mmm. Oh. Seriously, though, it unnerves me that he has nothing. Like, it looks like he's wearing nothing but a bodysuit. <laughs> so saying, Lancer quietly closes his eyes. Is that an apology, I wonder? I can't feel any sarcasm or conceit from it. His face is clouded as if this truly pains him. Having gone through baptism by lots of annoying signs on the way here, his manner is dazzlingly direct. Daz dazzlingly direct. This labyrinth is still wholly vague, and its true nature is not hugely different from Jinniko Garagiri's messy room. It consists of majestic pointlessness and sub sub subconscious fact. Finding what you search for becomes a fearful penance, much like pulling out unworn und underwear from a mountain of dirty laundry. You have my sympathies. You're saying whatever the hell you want again, aren't you? Just whose side are you on? Physically, I'm on your side. Uh, I wanted you to say what side you're on spiritually. If that's the case, then why don't you show me what uh, that you can be some use as a minor heroic spirit for the... Oh god, Mahabharata Mahabha... Mahabha... or the Yoga Curry or whatever it is, I don't know. If that's what you command, I will carry it out. Guess you'll refuse to leave. At least you will taste my spear. My skin prickles. Contrary to that calm final line, biting spear rises from him instantly. Hmm. Is that so? If its flavor is pleasing to my tongue, then very well. But if it proves to be simply another noble phantasm, your master will be dismembered. Yep, you guessed it. We're we're in floor one, and we already get a showdown with Karna.
This is all of the bad. <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh boy. So for this, I'm gonna use my usual strategy. And use skills. Because skills will block out normal attacks. And they won't stop his re his skills. And I know he uses two skills during this fight. And he's pre-programmed to do it. So, we'll at least be able to stop his normal attacks. Yep, that's the attack I can't stop! There we go, heal him up. Oh yeah, Jinniko and Karna's weird ass code cast. <laughs> And there he goes with his laser eye again. Wait, what happened to my health? How did I take so much damage? Now oh, whatever. We're past the uh, we're past the main thing though. Overpowered, completely overpowered. With power like this, Karna's no simple Lancer class servant. He can shoot lasers from his eyes. That's right, my servant is specially made. The heroic spirit of the laser beam, Launcher. I'm not gonna lie. They actually start referring to him as a launcher throughout the rest of this. So dumb. <laughs> A fitting class name. As his master says, it seems he's concealing a yet undisclosed ultimate light bomb. No helping it. And this too is my fate for having a master with such peculiar inclinations. You can call me Launcher from now on. I don't care. And he's super perceptive too. And on top of it all is that air of importance. So strong he can afford to hold back for you. I didn't intend to give them special considerations. I've never been the sort of opponent you could simply take down in one go. At least you learned that where the others didn't. After showing the extent of my opponent's abilities to my master, I just concluded that I would have to look for a second judgment. Strong. That sharpness. That weight. Since coming to the far side of the moon, I'd forgotten what a battle with a true heroic spirit is like. So accurate it's not even exciting. So merciless it gets boring. One blow that throws my own weakness into sharp relief with its intense heat. That's all it is. <laughs> we made so much allowance for you and you won't even crack a smile. Is your heart a scrubbing brush? Anyway, we totally won, didn't we? Wow, my servant's strong, isn't he? You're so strong, Karna! So this means it's okay to give myself a roar, too? Like that jersey pudding I was saving? I won't stop you. Maybe you won't care if the manatee in our fish tank turns into a seal. I just noticed something that's wrong. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. Uh, you'll notice that the flower petals didn't show up. That's because I'm messing with PSP emulation settings. Anyways. Rather, it seems you betrayed yourself just now. Is that alright, my mistress? Pain intermittently cuts through my left hand. The sign of an SG. It's clearly responding to Jinniko and La Launchers back and forth. Their overwhelming superiority has conversely weakened the walls of her heart. I won't let this perfect opportunity escape. That was an utter defeat. We have no hope of beating you. So you acknowledge your loss. Oh, if I'd known that, then I wouldn't have needed all these elaborate preparations in the first place. It could have just been simple. Only attacking after squeezing all the experience point I could out of the mid-boss and the mini-bosses. I guess I ended up grinding without meaning to. My bad. <laughs> That's right. This is her habit. Everything on this floor was laid out by Jenico. I understand the contents of her SG already. 
Jinniko's words are always wrapped in a whole lot of chaff, but... What can you protect with lies? They're only lies. What's wrong with them? They're useful, they're tools, they're my strategy. If the lie ends without hurting you or me, what's wrong with it? The truth is that you wanted me to know. I have no idea who does Jenica's voice, but dear God do I love it right now. So many emotions. So amazing. It's awesome. <laughs> it's no! No, you're wrong! She actually wanted me to know. Those lies were like keys leading me to the room of truth. Everyone tells lies. Someone who doesn't lie, probably someone who has nothing they value. But that's not Jinniko Karagiri. She certainly has something important to her. What's that? Something important? Me? Wow, it went from like quiet to batshit in just a matter of seconds. <laughs> That's why I'm just kind of pausing before letting, I'm just letting in the beauty of her voice just take in. It's awesome. Uh, are you stupid or something? This is why brats like you drive me crazy. So annoying. You don't know anything. You've never suffered anything. Lying to protect something important. Only lucky winners can afford to talk about that crap. There are people who have no choice but to lie until all those piles of lies become their precious self, alright? I have nothing valuable. There's nothing about me to be proud of. I... I'm just... a big fat liar. And there we go, SG captured. Wow, that actually did take a while. Okay, bye, Jenico. <laughs> With her secret brought to light, the copy of Jenico vanishes. Garno wordlessly confirms his master's disappearance. <laughs> We've completed the SG accusation. The shield should be released now, too. But this SG capture left a bitter aftertaste than any we've done so far. I've confirmed the launch of the next floor. As you might expect, it seems to have a hidden SG as well. Vala, come back. You'll need rest. By the way, Leo, where did Gauto go? Has he come back or something? Mr. Gauto should be on the same level as Vala. He's used up his return techniques. It seems that somehow he got completely ensnared by the signs' messages and kept going around in circles, falling for them, which held him back. That sounds like a nice way of saying he's an idiot. What? I don't know whether to call that being cooperative or just not knowing how to doubt. Brother, once you've changed the water in the flower vase, could you go deliver a return crystal to Chief Gauto and tell him that we've cleared the labyrinth? Understood. I'll go after I've dealt with the gardening. No. Then I'll probably forget. I'll go now. Gauto. I wonder if he's okay. There's another thoroughly cooperative person around here, too. Jinniko's servant, La Launcher. This time we took advantage of their weaknesses, and things turned out well. 
But I've got zero confidence in our ability to take Karna on in a straight-up fight. It would be best if Jenica would just give in obediently, but... I'm not getting anywhere thinking about this on my own. I should go back to the room for now. This gives us access to Jenico's first SG. Whoops, that is not the button for it. There we go. Which is... There we go. The tendency to lie. And that will definitely be it for now, so... Next time, guys, I guess we'll be heading into the second layer. So until then, I will catch you all later. Asta. Hi, Julius. Oh, God, my voice just cracked right there. I'm sure that sounded lovely. Asta. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Fate Extra Triple C. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. And to stay up to date with all my latest content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go back into the labyrinth, fight our way to the other side with the egotistical Gilgamesh at my side, and crush all those who would stand in my way. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta!